Hello everybody, this is Frankie Day, Frankie Day Models. Okay, for this cheerful overcast Tuesday, I have for you the plan of the bill. Uh, entry number two, entry number three, uh, for the uh, for classic, classic 101 tribute group build. Okay, now the other two builds I got going right now, I got the, I got the, I got the Coast Guard Eagle back there. That was, that was entry number one. I haven't finished that yet, but I'm going to be hop that real soon. I'm going to try to get all these models all done when I get started already. And, uh, and, uh, and also get all these bills going, get it all done and get my plate clean. So I get more bills going. And uh, so that's number one. And number two is the, uh, the Halifax. I got it over there. I got to do some uh, wet and dry sanding on there in place of primer. So I get some clothes on her. I have a video that coming up way pretty soon. Probably by tomorrow. Okay. Uh, there'll be two final bills today. There'll be final bill for the Woolly Bird group build featuring my, uh, Hobby model 148 scale CH21 workhorse for Shawnee. I got that way coming, but right after the P39. Okay. Uh, an overall view of this kit. It went together very, very well, very easy. No, no finish at all. For a model that's over 60 years old, it's, it's, it's remarkable the, uh, uh, the, Stuff like this, when you're younger, you don't look at the, uh, appreciate the detail they put into something like this. Because back in the day, wood was, uh, was going out, outfield, left field somewhere, and plastic was coming in. Now, so Ravel and, uh, Orlin and Ringo Plastics were, and, and, uh, and Lindbergh and Aurora were the first companies that, that had production lines of, uh, plastic, ejection plastic kits at the time. Some were hideous. Some were spat on. Some were. It is what it is. In the case of P39 right here, it is what it is. Uh, it was a very cheerful day outside. It's overcast. I went outside, took some outside slides of this thing. And once the slides are over, we'll get back to the video and I'll finish up the video. I'll be announcing what I've got going next. And uh, I'll show you the P39 live right in front of me uh, right after the video. Okay. Let's pay attention right now. We'll uh, take a hard stop at the port at starboard and we'll uh, take a look at the sides. Okay, thank you, boy. Raise, roll the sides, man. <laughs> there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed those pictures. Okay. This is her right here. I use wet and dry sandpaper. Instead of painting those, those pre-marked wing walks here with the wings, I get a little 3D by going ahead by putting 320 
grit black, white, uh, grit and, and dry sandpaper where the wing walks. The yeah, Aircobra was a very beautiful airplane for his time. It was underrated at the time. I think a lot of the underrated the rate, the rated, uh, came from is more or less a lot of pilots didn't like to fly this plane because of two reasons. When, you got a, when you're sitting on top of a, an Allison engine plus a, tw a barrel from a 20 millimeter gun, a can coming out of the air, all that vibration and, and all that stuff going on, it kind of stifles the pilots a little bit. It kind of makes them skittish about flying the same. But they do say in, in overall aerobatics and performance, thing, it's like a P-40. It flies very well. And uh, a very small handful of these were used in the Second World War on our side, on America, USA. Uh, they were used actually in the Pacific a lot. Then the Russians picked up on them. Whatever the Russians could do, they, they can... Same thing with the Brewster Buffaloes, the same thing they did with a lot of stuff that, that during the Lindley's program. And uh, they had a lot of victories over this thing. They love these Air Cobras. And uh, this is a swivel stand, kept a little bell, swivel stand. There's a part over here of the stand here, you can, you can nail it on the wall and have it like this. That's how you do do this when I was a kid. But this stand is very unique. You don't see stands like this anymore. Typical veil. A stand. The P three on Air Cobra came out back in nineteen thirty seven. The pilots used them, they were a good aircraft. But just the thought of having all that underneath their seats like that behind them, they didn't like that. And uh, it was a car door configuration. You got one open. You got that pilot right there. You'll see it pretty good. You saw it already in the, in the videos. And uh, no detail, no cockpit detail at all. They give you a very detailed pilot, a seat. And that kind of fills the bill for this kind of airplane. After all, this 1955. You didn't have no net, uh, you didn't have any uh, rhythm counters back then. Back in those days, you had a lot. You had kids like me that were very glad to have one of these. <laughs> well, Val came out with some crazy ideas there, Cooper. I remember I went to the B and D market. They stocked a lot of plastic models back in the days. It was a grocery store out in California, and uh, they had one of these called Whip and Fly. Let me explain what Whip and Fly. On the right wing, left wing tip, there was a hole. They, they, this kit don't have it because uh, this is the original mold. But on the other molds they had, with the original mold, what they did is when they drill a hole in the wing there, and you have like a line on there. This thing on go like this. Now, what's fun if you do that by whip this thing around going like this? You got no control. You shrink and land it, you land it, this thing busted a million pieces. So that kind of went out with the dodo. They don't do that no more. I, I can see why they didn't do it no more. You take your time building something like this. You want to take it out there and fly it around with a tether line. That thing break and hit something, bust, be a million pieces. Then you got to go to the store and, and buy yourself another one for 98 cents back then. And the way the B.O. Cobra looked like a P-40. I call it a P-40 on steroids. A very beautiful airplane, this P-39 is. I'm very glad I got this. I had this in my collection for years. I thought this would be an excellent classic, classic uh, entry for, for Chris. And I'm pretty sure his spirit will approve and like it. And so thank you very much, Frankie, and, and the rest of you too, as well. At least we thank of this man. Uh, I never got the gentleman in person, but what I've seen of his videos... He's a very warm-hearted, wonderful person. And he's even the, his kind of guy gives the shirt off his back. And uh, with no complaints. So he's living a better world than we're living in. And God bless this man and his family. I still pray for his family. And I hope they, they it takes a while to heal. 
feel things. Time is the uh, the ultimate medicine for grieving and uh, and healing. Okay. Next video at this, me and Charlie Mack. Charlie Mack kind of brought out a, a, a tip I had for years, like he's got for years too. And we're going to have a buddy build going on. I think a lot of you probably has watched his video already, and he made an announcement what we'll be doing. And I'm going to do the same. And uh, we'll do that in this video. And uh, after that, we'll have the whirly bird coming up for you. You'll like that. Came out pretty good. Real nice. I like that on each 21. Okay. I went ahead. I went on eBay and sent away for some fittings. For a ship model I'll be building pretty soon. It's for a victory ship. I got a victory ship kit that I have. I lost all the fittings to it, so I had to reorder them. I couldn't, I didn't, instead of reordering them, they flashed out these days. Oh, wow. Man, for $55. Yeah, I got a whole fitting set, which is about a hundred and something dollars. It goes to a blue jacket kit. And um, so I went ahead and ordered those. Well, they'll probably be coming in by tomorrow. As I was ordering, I saw on YouTube. On, yeah, uh, no, it was on eBay. It was a TBD devastated by, by Trumpet, 132nd scale. I go, wow, it finally came out with something like this. I thought the only 132nd scale TBD you can get is model res, a 133 scale paper model. I've already got that already. Now they come out with a plastic one. $115. With tax and all, it cost me $129. Plus shipping. I got the Hobby Link. I went ahead and ordered that on eBay. So that hasn't hit the hit the market yet. It's they say by next week, you know, by June, you know, it'll be out of hobby shops and all the place. So I ordered that already. I pre-ordered it, I paid for it and everything, my credit card. And uh it should be in one day next week or a couple of weeks from now, whatever gets in here, I'll make an inbox of you and that. It probably had building it. Okay. What else I got going back there? I know I got something back there I need to show you. Oh yeah, right here. I don't know if I show this to you or not. This is the Airfix kit of the McGloucester Meteor. I haven't glued the wings down, as you can tell. Everything's been glued except those. All things have been wet and dried, sanded down. No felt at all. None at all. You don't need any. You don't. You don't need any. So... About a couple days now, it'll be all done. It won't take long to finish that one up. So I'll figure out what that is, too. It's one of my finish upper jobs. Okay, I'm starting to lock them out now. Okay, that's about it right now. So stay posted for the uh, for the inbox review and also the announcement of, of Charlie Mack and, and Frankie Day's buddy build coming in. And Charlie Beck is the host, the originator of the of the uh, of the of the uh, bill. I was looking at his YouTube. He completed one of his uh, beautiful models. He does. I think it was an automobile. I think it was. He does. Charlie Beck does wonderful work. He does a very good job. Fast builder too. He gets it all done. And he's like me. He spends all day on. It works on. Of course, you're retired. What else is there? Okay, uh, and I went to uh, ask Charlie. So I messaged him. I said, like, Charlie, he says, you, I've got the same same model you got. Why don't we just make a buddy build out of that thing? It will spruce up my mojo. It was an excellent idea. So yesterday he made a, a shout out and announcement of the buddy build. 
I will do the same. Okay, that's it for the P30 Dinosaur Cobra. Is it for me? Stay close a bit. Come right, 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 right your way in a couple of minutes. So stay close from that, fellas. This is Frankie Day for Frankie Day. Mama signing out. Take care of Mama. Take care of the little ones. Spend wisely. Just focus when you're driving. Spend wisely. Be aware of your surroundings. Out here is not a very good day for a barbecue, but it can be. So enjoy the beginnings of summer. Enjoy family. Enjoy model building. Enjoy yourself. And please take care of yourselves and your family. And thank you very much for all the subscribers, all the viewers, and all the ones that commented it. I'm very honored each one of you. And uh, deeply honored. And blessed. Thank you very much. This is Frankie Day for Frankie Day Model signing out. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. So stay posted for that.